Hello and welcome back to another episode. Now today I want to talk about a stage one level boss. So the first big boss that you come to in a computer game and essentially the most heinous, horrible, mind-numbingly painful, disturbingly difficult one that, uh, that I've ever come across. And that is uh, the very first boss in the first Sonic the Hedgehog game uh, from 1991. Now, I remember we'd just got a Mega Drive. They were very new consoles and one of the, the first titles that most people were playing on that console was Sonic the Hedgehog. And um, uh, at the time, uh, at this point, my mum didn't really trust my brother and I not to be on it all hours. So we, had the, we did have a second TV. It was a small fairly old TV, it was on the, you know, on the verge of breaking down and had one of those old diet tuning knobs where you had to sort of um, very carefully get a little stick out actually and sort of twist it using almost like a screwdriver, it was very strange. Um, and it was set up on this, uh, this, um, this black stand which was behind um, one of the chairs and we had this sort of long living room, dining room kind of area where uh, this chair was sort of I don't know, had its back up to where a wall would have been separating the two and the the rig, the gaming rig as it were, was just behind that chair. So we were there essentially in the dining room but very much one big space. Gaming away, trying to get um, get the most out of this brand new console, this brand new uh, game which we'd just, just opened. Very exciting times and, um, <laughs> and I remember obviously Green Hill Zone is the first level in Sonic the Hedgehog and it's vibrant, the music is exciting, the colours are vivid, um, the, the noise for example that Sonic does when he jumps, everything about that was just um, an exciting experience and of course the speed, the speed at which Sonic moves, moves through that level um, was like something that I've never seen before, it was, it was, it was, it was exciting very very exciting and so we got we sped through essentially level one and level two and in the third level as is the pattern in Sonic the third of each sort of zone in Green Hill Zone and the third level at the end you come to uh, Dr. Robotnik or, or, or Dr. Eggman depending on uh, where you are and who you were at the time and um, so Dr. Robotnik and he comes down and there's the there's the boss music uh, which is, which is, <laughs> again, I, I hear, I'm hearing it right now just because I spent so much time trying to fight this boss. And it's a very simple boss. He's hovering in his sort of, you know, in his, in his little uh, pod with a rocket on the back and he drops this, this stone ball on a chain and it starts swinging from side to side. And all you've got to do is jump, trying to avoid the ball, keep the rings that you've developed, that, you, that you've picked up through the level so you don't die, obviously, because you can get hit once you drop your rings, hit again. If you'd have no rings, then you die. Um, and you've just got to bash the pod. Simple as that. Now, now I can I can do it fairly easily. Get to the boss, dodge the ball, hit the pod. He blows up. Next thing you know, uh, you're in in the second level in the uh, the sort of the, the purple marble zone. But um, but at the time in 1991, both me and my brother would spend literally hours trying to get past this boss and I think the more we tried to do it the worse we got at it because we were getting more and more frustrated obviously it was a brand new console we didn't want to smash the, the controller but we got very very close just to go and just, <laughs> uh, I remember distinctly really really vividly actually getting right up to the screen sort of nose to the glass on the screen sort of the curved glass and um, so that you could see all the actually the individual dots kind of thing and I was like I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna get you I'm gonna get you <laughs> when I was a, what I would have been uh, seven years old at the time <laughs> um, getting really frustrated with this boss and just couldn't beat him we could just we just couldn't um, eventually we did and when we sort of cracked it, he was never quite so difficult again. But that first experience, man, that first time trying to get Dr. Robotnik, it was it was a gaming um, a gaming brick wall. You know, it was a dead end, and it was really frustrating, really satisfying once we'd achieved it. But man, was it hard to get through. It really was difficult. Now um, that has stuck with me forever and ever since uh, 1991 so I was uh, I don't know recently I was playing um, uh, a, a, there's a game called um, Applejack on the Xbox Live Arcade and that's got some elements 
which kind of reminds me of Sonic, the vividness of the graphics, the way that he plays. And there were a couple of moments where I thought, oh man, this is getting really hard, but it's never as hard as that Dr. Robotnik boss for some reason. Now, it's the first level boss. None of the other bosses in, in Sonic the Hedgehog gave me or my brother as much trouble as the first one in, uh, in Green Hill Zone. And I just find that fascinating. Why? Why is it that? And maybe it's just something about the learning curve. You know, this, this is how you have to play the game. This is how you have to deal with it. And the first time you come up, come up, up against the boss, it's going to be something new and different and, and challenging. But um, I don't know. Has anyone else had that experience? If you have, I'd love to hear about it. Because um, I'll be honest, it's kind of made me feel a little bit, or made me feel a little bit like I was a bit inept. You know, first stage boss, or rather, well, first level boss, can't, uh, can't beat him. What's going on here? Um, so yeah, with Sonic 2, Sonic and Knuckles, uh, Sonic 3D Blast, um, all the other Sonic games since then really, I've never really had the same amount of trouble as I have with that first interaction with Dr. Robotnik. Um, I don't know, am I alone in that? Have, have any of you guys had any similar experiences with, with the same game or other games um, in, your, in your gaming career? Please do let me know, I'd love to hear about it. Uh, comments below I suppose. Um, there's something though really satisfying about beating a hard boss, undeniably, and there's also something really, really satisfying about knowing that you that you that you can go back and you can do it again. I'm mean, actually recently I, I um my Mega Drive's actually back home where I grew up at the moment, but I recently downloaded Sonic the Hedgehog as an app, and I was playing it on on an iPad, and um, and I remember getting to him and having this slight pang of fear. <laughs> and actually, the first time I tried to beat him again, I did actually die. So he still he still got me psychologically. <laughs> Doctor Robotnik on that first level can still get to me. And uh, I don't know, is it, is it the same for you guys? I'd love to know. Uh, please do comment below. Um, and there you go. As ever, until next time, please do take care. Bye bye.